Hello everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Luguette and today is September 4th, 2019. We are on the new Athletic District Development Project. This will be our fourth video of the series and we'll be taking you through progress since our last update. We're going to begin our update using our aerial photography. So much progress. This happened since our last update. The south end of the building, the foundation, the shape of the building, you can see here in front of us has been completed. This is a great view and we're going to take several different views as we fly around. This is a circular view. We're now going around the baseball field that's been completely established in this area. This is our third base dugout line that you see right in through here. We're now coming around more towards home plate and the backstop you see just to the right hand side of our screen. Great progress. We're going to take you down, show you home plate, boots on the ground. As we begin, begin to spin around, our bleacher footings have started and behind the backstop in this area right in through here. We're going to go down, touch base. The progress on our first base dugout is further than our third base dugout, and that's what you see on the right-hand side. But this is a great flight around circular, but with the trees being so close, Unfortunately, we can only capture so much. This section behind the right field line, all of our topsoil piles have been removed. That's great progress for the job. And finally, our musco lights as we get to the back end behind the fence area right in through here. Some of them have been installed. We're gonna take you up close and show you what they look like with their foundations. Next pass will be from home plate straight through center field. Just past the white truck is the pitcher's mounds near that yellow truck right in through here. And the big focus is this detention system that gets buried under the outfield. That's complete. They're just putting the stone over the top, as you can see through here. And lastly, we'll fly from center field to home plate. We come over this section right in through here. We have our drill rigs for our batter's eye. We're going to take you up close where you see the orange rig right in front of us. And again, a much better look at our detention system right in through this section right in through here. We're over second base. We're pretty much over the pitcher's mound in this area. And we're finishing up at home plate. Let's move to the progress on the performance center. The last update, there were very few footings. The shape of the building has been completed. I'm going to try to describe the areas as we fly over for you. On the south, this left-hand side will be our exterior bathrooms. And there's two sets, both on the south and on the north, up above. As it jogs here to the right, and I'm going to show you boots on the ground, that's our concession stands over in there. It's a big plaza area on the baseball field. We'll talk about it flying back the second Left-hand side of the stairs is our visitor locker rooms. We're over the men's locker rooms and baseball right now. To the right-hand side is our batting tunnels. We're now over the women's soccer, women's softball. Basically, they keep them together. Our aqua pools over to the right. And as we get all the way to the north, our second set of bathrooms. We'll now fly north to south. Give us a totally different view. Perfect. Again, on the lower right-hand side of our screen, second set of bathrooms to the exterior. On the left-hand side, we actually have some officials lockers through there. Where the excavators reaching over the side, that's our two-story strength and conditioning area in through there. In the center of the screen, we see our hydrotherapy pools and the equipment section that kind of jogs off the two of those. Our electrical room with a massive bunch of conduits coming out. Coming up on the left-hand side is our batting tunnels. And to the right, we start our lockers with the women's softball, women's soccer, back-to-back. -back. And as we move down a little bit further, will be the men's soccer and baseball. To the right, where we see our elevator and our stair knockout right through there. And again, the concessions to the left. We'll complete our aerial update across the street. To the right-hand side, our practice soccer field. To the left-hand side, our mound where we're able to keep all of our additional soils on site. You can see our monitoring poles right in through there. 
But I want to take a good look here. We're going to begin actually the soccer field coming up in the next few weeks, which is north of the road. The yellow excavator to the left, the orange one in the middle, and that's going to be our new soccer field. Between the soccer field and the performance center will be a set of bleachers. But I want to talk about, before we finish the video, our plaza area. Between the end of the building and the baseball field, the concession area, area right down in through there. There you go, between the blue and the orange down in there. Boots on the ground. The stick tells it all. The surveying stick. Home plate, radius point, right through here. Okay, we're going to turn over, we're going to look to our right, we'll take a closer look, but I want to spin from here, our first base dugout, our shoring that's in here is to pour the deck, we're going to come on there in a minute and show you that up close. Our backstop, our brick elevation through here, how awesome is that, we talked about the dark color, the light baseball, we're going to take you through the sequence of construction on the dugout, our third base dugout, not quite as far along as our first base dugout, okay. The field is taking shape, the big piles of dirt, they're moving out. We talked about in the overhead, our detention system. But while I'm here, let's go right to the backstop here and take a look at this brick. Below is where the grade's gonna be in through here. The turf is gonna come up on through here. Great workmanship, all radius through here, perfectly round. We have plumbing, we have drainage, we have a bathroom in the dugout systems. That's what you see going on through there. Let's take a closer look at the dugout construction that we have over here. All right, what you see the yellow planks, that's all temporary, that's for shoring. We're gonna step up here, step up on this ladder and show you the roof through here. Okay, this is open, there's protection in front of here, just the way you see it. We have wing retaining walls, I'm going to show you up close, we talked about it in the overhead, one here. The masons are working on the second over in this area over here, okay. So the edge of the roof on the dugout, you can see, basically lines up with the radius wall over there. This is all open section in through here. We're a baseball player, first base dugout. It's going to be a set of steps coming up in here. We just talked about it from the outside. There'll be a bench right in through here. You can actually sit on this bench right in through here. It'll be the fenced area right in through here. Watching the game, cheering them on. We have a handicap ramp in through here to get you to this level. Okay. Underneath our deck, we have a mechanical room. We have a bathroom right here. How awesome is that? All right, the look from the dugout. Here I am, the field right in front of us. We're coming down, first baseline, right field, the end of the retaining wall. We talked about it in the overhead. You can just barely see some orange caps. That's where the foul pole the footing is in. We'll be in right in through here. We get a closer look at these massive Musco lights back in through here. All right, one of the greatest points of progress we had big, huge dirt piles back in through here. We just have the one topsoil pile that will get spread out in through here. We're expecting grass this fall back in through here. How awesome is that? This ties in with the fence back in through here, really taking shape as we look around from right field line. Here we are on third base dugout, uh, what it looks like uh, pre-finish. The P-stone in the bottom, the red is for finished grade you see in through there. The plumbing for the drains, same exact thing. We've got our bathroom and we've got our utility area. The rebar for the lid that's coming up. Left field retaining wall, same idea. There'll be some fencing back in through here. We talked about in the overhead, our bullpen section back in through here. Boots on the ground, what we call our bullpen, where our pitchers and catchers warm up. Why it's square in this back area. The fence system that comes around in through here. Our under drainage really kind of shows you the pathway of the perimeter right in through here. Monster detention system. It's part of our stormwater system. It slows the water, the runoff. 
that heads down into the rivers. This massive detention system in through here slows the flow of our detention, of our stormwater system. Another look at our Musco lighting system. They're not tuned up to the proper locations yet. They're just laying like that for protection during the weather. A little closer look at our Musco uh, bases, what we would call one here, the final one in the corner over here on through here. We're gonna spin around, get a closer look at the outside behind. Our first post towards the right field, first of four, one, two, three, four, for our batter's eye, our screen that comes over the back that gives the batter the same vision back in through here. There'll be panels with a Yukon logo back in through here. So pretty much right about where the center of the machine is will be the direct relationship back to home. Pretty awesome view, what we call the fence, the wall, the home run boundary in through here. We have a protective fence, 42 inches tall in here, so nobody can get in between here and the wall to get onto the field. So it's not hard to tell we're excited about this lighting system. We can't wait for March for our first games next year to uh, be able to light us up. And finally back from here, we're gonna take a look back onto the field. This view, next time we come through here, this will be all buried in through here, okay? Come towards mid-September, this field's gonna be graded in through here. We've got the field turf system started very shortly. The look back to home plate. We talked about it when I was standing at home plate, right field line, okay? With my fingers, there's home plate, down by through the edge of the truck, all right? There's the footing and the hole for the pole, as they say, will be right in through here. As they come back up, we see the distance, uh, 20 feet or so, I'm not quite sure, uh, to the outside wall. The opportunity to catch the foul ball in this corner over and through here. The fence, the wing wall, the dugout, the backstop. It's gonna be an awesome looking baseball field. We talked about it in the overhead, the proximity, the closeness of the two buildings together. I love to do this. I'm gonna actually take you through the concessions area of the building right in through here. All right, so later on, hamburgers, things of that nature you need to get a bite to eat that will be through this area right in through here this will be a vestibule area right in here we have two rooms here for concessions this is open to the public right in through here our second floor stairs and our elevator to the other side soils coming in backfill in and gets the foundation through here plumbing awesome. plumbing and more plumbing the south end over here, we have their two bathrooms right in this, men's and women's bathrooms in this section right in through here. Visitors locker rooms in this section right in through here, opposite the stair and the elevators over in through here. It's loud, we're gonna try to catch it with the noise. About 55 guys on the job, working all throughout here. Remote control, compactor. See the man right there on the vest, how awesome is that? Again, our reference, we talked about it in the overhead, stairs and our elevators, more lockers, soccer lockers over through this section right in through here. This section right here is awesome. This is our strength and fitness area right in through here where the excavator's at. That's two stories, clear span through that area through there. Another set of stairs in through here. And all the way up to the front is our other set of bathrooms. So bathrooms all the way to the north, bathrooms all the way to the south. Opposite these two interior piers, this is our batting tunnel. Areas right in through here, this section of the building will have many lanes for the, for the batting cages, we call them batting tunnels in through here. We'll take a closer look. I apologize, you know, the weather's not the greatest at night. We're having to make this video during the day. Lots of activities going on. I think we'll be all right. Again, through here are batting tunnels in this section right in through here. It's pretty clear right now because it is pretty clear in through here, okay? Our aqua pools where we started in the deepest ends down in through here. These sections over in through here are two aqua pools, okay? The miles and miles of electrical conduits that run. Our electrical room on the opposite side, a transformer 
for our primary service will be over in this section right in through here, all designed on the layered systems of conduits. Again today is September 4th, 2019, and we thank you for your interest in our university project. Remember to subscribe to our UPDC YouTube channel. At the bottom in red here, a click on the subscribe, a second click on the bell right next to it. Now you'll receive an automatic email every time we add a video to this site. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.